In this segment, I want to take a look at some various transformations to graphs. We're going to be looking at shifts, meaning um, moving the graph actually vertically or horizontally, reflections, that kind of means flipping it over something, and a stretch or a shrink, which does exactly what you think. It pulls it tighter, uh, taller or flattens it out. Before I can do that, I want to just uh, remind you of a couple basic functions um, that we should know. Uh, I think everybody should know what y equals x squared is. That's our basic parabola here. The y equals x cubed, this kind of snake looking thing. y equals square root of x. And so I get this uh, half of sideways parabola and the absolute value function where I get this v-shape. Now for each of these I should know some basic points. First of all, they all go through the origin 0, 0. Um, actually all of them have the point 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 1 on them. But then for the x squared, we have 2, 4 would be another point, or negative 1, 1. For the x cubed, another point would be 2 and 8, or negative 1, negative 1. For the square root, another point would be 4 and 2. Okay, and for the absolute value, it's the straight line, so 2, 2, 3, 3, etc. Let's take a look at the transformations. First of all, vertical transformations. Now that means shifting it up and down. So when you look here, I've got three different parabolas graphed. And the first one here in green is 3x squared. And then in the blue, we did 3x squared plus 2. In pink or red, it's 3x squared minus 3. How did adding or subtracting to my 3x squared change the picture? Well, the plus moved it upwards two units, and the minus moved it downward three units. That's not a coincidence. In general, we would say f of x plus or minus something is going to result in a vertical shift. In other words, the plus or minus is just kind of an afterthought after you've already done your main function. And it works logically. If you add, it moves it up. If you subtract, it moves it down. Okay? What about the horizontal shifting? Same 3x squared, but this time when we add the 2, we're going to add it before we square it. Or if we subtract the 2, we're going to subtract the 2 before we square it. Well, that results, if you do it on the inside, it results in a horizontal shifting. And, and notice this, this is really important. When I added the 2, what happened to my parabola? It moved backwards. And when I subtracted, it actually moved forward. So in this case, it's kind of counterintuitive. So the rule in general, f of the quantity x plus or minus c, so it's inside, internal to the function itself, is going to result in a horizontal shift. And again, if I'm adding, it actually moves it backwards and it goes to the left. And if I'm subtracting, it moves it forward or to the right. Okay, other kinds of transformations we want to look at are reflections and the stretch and shrink. For the reflections, I'm going to use a different function, the square root of x. Now, if I put a minus on the outside or a minus on the inside, it does two different things, right? So square root function is my half parabola. And if I put the minus on the outside, what did it do? It flipped it over the x-axis, okay? So that's a reflection over the x-axis if you put a negative out front of your function. It flips it upside down. If I have my function, but I take the opposite of x before I apply the function, it actually flips it over the y-axis, okay? Last one. If I want uh, to start with x squared and I multiply it by a 3 or a 1 third, what difference is that going to make? Well, here's my basic parabola. And when I multiply it by a 3, it takes all my y values and multiplies them by 3. So it increases them much more rapidly. It has the effect of stretching this and making it skinnier. Okay, And if I multiply um, by 1 third, it's going to take all my original y values and multiply them by a 1 third, which in effect shortens it or flattens it out, shrinks it down. So my rule would be that if I have um, a multiplier greater than 1, it makes it skinnier, it stretches it. If I have a multiplier between 0 and 1, it's going to flatten it out, make it fatter or wider. We call that a shrink. 